It is 6.15 p.m. I have my head leaned back and my eyes are closed. We're heading back to our base from Memphis. The carcass of the dead goose lying on the floor barely missed my head. The Life Pack 12 in front of me took a direct hit by a goose. Our pilot is injured. He's trying to fly while ducking down behind the instrument panel. With a bloody face, he turns and tries to give us thumbs up. That's red one. Do you copy? We got an emergency. We have a bird strike. That's why dispatch. That's why dispatch. We got an emergency. Uh, look at our present position. We're the first place to land. He can't talk to us. His headset has been knocked off. The roar of the wind coming through the aircraft makes it so hard to hear. It's absolutely freezing and this wind is brutal. Not to be cynical, but for a brief second my present life really flashed before my eyes. Are we going to be okay? Or is my wife going to be raising our kids without me? My youngest child is only six months old. Will she even know who I was? Am I going to miss seeing my kids grow up? It was pitch black, but off in the distance we see neon lights and know this will be our landing site. Eight minutes in the air felt like an eternity. Then I felt the skids on the ground, and I knew we would be safe. Dispatch, med flight. Yeah, dispatch, med flight, go ahead. Hey Brad, we are safely on the ground. Let me give you a grid where we're at right now. Fort North, 35, 03. Point two one four west zero nine zero four one point four six uh, we're next to this I'm gonna... It has been several weeks. I could feel the anxiety building. I would snap at people. I was not sleeping at night. I would pace around the house with the thought of what if what if he would have been struck three inches higher? What if he would have been knocked out? What if we lost control of the aircraft? What if? I continued to fly part-time for a year. One day my wife walked into our bedroom and I could see anguish in her eyes. The stress of my incident, as well as the news of several crashes nationwide, had finally taken their toll on her. With tears coming down her cheek, she said, I cannot handle you flying anymore. I'm a nervous wreck every time you walk out the door. I know how much you love to fly, but we need you here. So I resigned my position. It is three years later, watching a helicopter in the air, hearing the sound of turbines winding up, or watching a helicopter coming in on a scene flight, makes me wish I was still part of that.